This is the instructional video demonstrating TLC Lab Supplies Cannabis Testing Kit. This kit uses thin layer chromatography to determine cannabinoid percentage within the sample being tested. This demonstration will be a 100 milliliter hot test for THC, CBD, CBG, CBC, CBN, CBND, and THCV analysis. It is important to accurately weigh out your sample. Accurate weights equal consistent results. The first step you do is weigh out your sample of 100 milligrams of the substance you are testing, and then simply insert it into one of the instruction tubes. Put it back in the tube holder and we're ready to put the extraction fluid in the extraction tube. In your kit comes a plastic 3 milliliter pipette as well as a syringe. The needle simply twists on and off inside the cap and then you can just remove the cap off of the needle. Draw up one milliliter of extraction fluid and dispense it into the extraction tube. Close the lid and shake for three minutes. Turn the tube upside down. Where it comes to a point, you will be able to see our clear fluid. Shaking the extraction tube for three minutes helps the cannabinoids mix with the testing fluid. After the three minutes of shaking, set it in the tube holder and let it sit for five minutes or so. Take it back out and turn the tube upside down again to see that the mixture has turned color. If the mixture has turned color, you are ready to move on to the next step. Note, if you are testing mixed substances, you may need to leave your sample in the extraction tube for a longer period, sometimes overnight, to fully extract the cannabinoid content. For gummy bears, depending on the ingredients, it could take hours or even overnight to fully mix with a, the extraction fluid. Keep turning the extraction fluid upside down, looking at the point to see if our extraction fluid has mixed with your sample. When our clear extraction fluid has turned color, you know you're ready to proceed to the next step. With gloves always on, carefully place your TLC plate in front of you with the silica side up and the smooth glass side facing down. Take a piece of the cotton and put it into the extraction tube and carefully tamp it down to re let the liquid come above the plant material. This will ensure that no plant material gets taken up in your sample. In your kit, you will find a red cap tube which contains the capillary tubes. Each tube is a 2 microliter volume. When doing a hot test, you must plate two samples on top of each other to reach the required 4 microliter amount. Simply insert the capillary tube into the bulb, put it in the liquid, drop the sample. At that point, cover the top of the hole. When you get it into position, you can release and drop the sample on your spot. Remember to do this twice in the same spot for the 4 microliters. You can also use the capillary tube without the bulb. Simply insert the glass tube into the extraction tube, let the gravity flow, whip the fluid up the tube, cover it to seal it, and then let your sample be released. We also sell a variable pipette. This makes plating very easy. You dial up the four microliters and you only need to plate one time. Simply take for your next sample, remember a clean tip. And onto your plate. Now I've plated four samples across here, but when you get very good at it, you can get five across there. Now that our sample spots are dry, we can begin the hot test. Take your plate, holding it on a slight angle, and with the supplied lighter on its lowest setting, carefully heat the plate until the circle spots turn color. You will start to see the outside of the edges and the color of the spots will darken. 
you must have a level surface to start the developing of the TLC plate. Take your glass mason jar, which is our developing chamber, the three mil pipette, and our developing fluid from the brown jar. You're going to draw up two milliliters of developing fluid into the pipette and just simply put it into the jar. At this point, you're going to insert the thin layer chromatography plate. Insert the plate so that the silica side is facing up and the sample spots are to the bottom. The front of the plate goes to the front of the jar and the back of the plate will rest towards the back of the jar. It is very important to not bump the table, the jar, or the plate once it's inside the developing chamber. Movement can cause adverse results. Put the lid back on and let the plate develop. While the plate is developing, we can go ahead and make up our dye powder in our sprayer. Take the little dye powder bottle, give it a couple shakes to make sure all the powder is at the bottom after transportation. Lift the little lever to reveal the little scoop and undo the top. Take one full scoop of powder out of the container and simply add it to the water in the sprayer. You will want to carefully wipe off your scoop so that no residue is left to fall anywhere. Now that our plate is completely saturated to the top, we can carefully remove it from the developing chamber. Carefully take it out and lay it flat on top of the jar, which is on a level surface, and let it dry approximately two to three minutes. Once the spots are dry on the plate, take the plate and put it in your spray booth spot side to the bottom. Now that the dye spray has been activated after sitting for 15 minutes, start spraying the plate from the top to the bottom and completely saturate the plate. The results will appear immediately. Use all of the dye. Once the plate has dried in the spray booth, take it out and you can begin your qualitative assay of the results. With our THC percentage charts that come with the kits, simply put the chart in front of the dots and match the dot and the circle size to determine the cannabinoid percentage in the sample tested. We do recommend that you scan the plate or take a digital photo as the plate results will degrade over time left exposed to light and air. You can also reference our fingerprint chart to see where your cannabinoid results sit on the plate. You can clearly see here the THC line. When different substances are mixed, the color of the results may not match the coloring on the fingerprint chart. Where the sample sits on the plate are the RF factors. When testing mixed substances, you may not get a complete circle. You may get a half moon or more of an oblong shape. Simply complete the circle with a pencil and, or the oblong shape and measure the outside edges as you would a solid dot. For hemp growers, be aware that our test kits test for any substance with more than 1% cannabinoid in the sample. When testing your hemp sample, you will get a blank spot on the fingerprint chart where the THC sample spot would sit on the plate, but you will still see all the CBD results.